vlog. Survival kit on tour. Uh, this was how the entire Sunday looked like. I just read comics and relaxed. In 2000 and... Oh, God damn it. 2005, I worked as a drum tech for Gorgoth and 1349, and we went on this extensive tour. Got all these cool VIP passes from that tour. Little did I know that I was gonna be the drum tech for one of the world's most insane drummers, Frost from Satyricon. I was called one night sitting at home when I was living at home with mom. It was 11 o'clock at night, and a punk rock friend of mine named Uta, who plays in Haggis and uh, Death Barrel, called me and said, Hey man, you're not doing anything. Because I, I didn't go to school at the moment. Can you be a drum tech for two black metal bands on a five weeks European tour? I'm like, yeah, whoa, that's a big opportunity. Uh, well, when is this tour? Well, it's tomorrow. Uh, so, stressed out, I told him, well, give me five minutes to think about it. I hung up the phone and I thought, hmm, get a lot of connections in the black metal scene. Yeah, called him up again and said, sure, let's do this. I left for Oslo the next day, met up with the guys, and I met up in uh, a pink hoodie, pink shoes, pink makeup, a hardogram, the him logo on my entire back, pink skateboard, and pink uh, nail polish. Yeah, I didn't want to blend in or give the impression that I was a fanboy, even though I was. So I, I wanted to stand out and tell I'll be a strong personality and all that. So I'm proud of that to this day because one of the guys actually said, A hardogram? Him? I'm gonna fucking kill you. Uh, this amazing tall wizard came over to me and he said, Hello, what's your name? Martin? Okay, blah blah blah. Is this your first tour? Turned out he would become one of my good friends. His name is Christian, also known as Gal from Golgot, and I interviewed him for my Café Fancine magazine in issue 9. Still some issues available. This is Christian, right here. Hello, Christian. And I'm really proud because he said in the interview, he says, The Bowie concert, that was a concert, but Svart Café? My solo project? That's art, that's something else really proud so this is the issue with that interview it's in Norwegian though so anyway on tour five weeks I had to get get up super early in the morning work my ass off all day what a filthy job shitty paid but the experience is insane uh, like I experienced so much in so little time and it shaped me into the human <laughs> into the human that I am today. That's me taking the time here. Don't want to talk too long. And it wasn't easy. Uh, three weeks into the tour, I had my, my little, um, goop, 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 my first mental breakdown. And I actually started walking into the Autobahn in Germany. And the guy said, We go, Martin. Oh, I'm going to get hit by a truck. Because I wanted to go home so badly, but I didn't want to give up. So my solution to getting home was, well, if I go home in a coffin, I still get to go home. So you can say it was not easy being on tour. There was a lot of drugs and alcohol. I stopped doing alcohol when I was 15, so it was a pretty rough scene to be in. But I made a lot of good friends, and no, not everyone was on drugs, of course. Um, one thing that kept me going, which was my survival kit on tour, was um, having this. The Motley Crue, the Dirt book. This turned into the Bible for me on this tour. Because every night after a long, shitty day, there were a few moments that I actually had time to enjoy myself. I would always look forward to lying in in my bunk bed in the tour bus reading one chapter of the book because there was not much left of the book and this is the scary part <laughs> on the last night when we were going back to Norway we've been to all of Europe and I have a lot of crazy stories from this tour so if you want to hear more of these stories let me know in the comments below because promise you they're fucked up on the last night going in I'm reading a chapter in my book still have some pages a good amount of pages left and what do you know? As I hear them saying, hey, We're in Norway! Because they were also happy to be home. That was the end of the book. I was finished reading the book and I didn't like uh, calculate it so that one chapter per night would be to the end of the tour because I didn't have any extra books with me. The book was finished when the tour was finished. And to me, that's pretty freaky. Anyway, a book, a good book, always helps me cope with shit. And I'll show you two other books really quick. This book, I read it recently, I bought it in New York, it has helped a lot and I'm gonna read it again because I, I can feel that I need it. It's about mental illness and how to live with it. Really fucking good book, recommend it highly. And I also recommend... Uh, aha, nope. I'm not gonna recommend anymore. What book do you recommend me to read or check out? Also, write that in the comments below. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.
Remember to subscribe, like this video if you like books, and give it a thumbs up. Cool? Yep. Okay. Share this video. And click the little bell right next to the subscriber button, because then you get notified when I have a new video out. And... Scoop, scoop, scoop. I find comfort in knowing that I'm gonna die, die, die. There's one thing that's certain in life, and that's you die. Scoop, scoop, scoop. The world doesn't give a shit if you're depressed. You gotta do it all yourself. Yeah, smart Martin. Double up with the laser treatment. Yay!